should have kept your mouth shut. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? I'll just say I fell down the stairs again. Rather serious topic this time. Ellie is starting out with a red base. You use one brush to apply the color and a clean brush to do the fading. That's the general concept here. Since we're doing this video with long clips so you see everything well, I won't be talking so much. Try not to miss my voice too much. And before I forget, this is part one in our domestic violence series with bruising and scarring. So this makeup will actually be the base for the upcoming makeup. So keep that in mind, that tutorial will be posted in a few days. little bit of dark purple in the corner there. Then back to fading. Some more of that purple color. And a lot of fading. Continuing with the yellow. and a little dash of fake blood. And always remember, it's your makeup, your rules, you choose the colors. What we use is just a suggestion. More purple, lighter version this time. Throw in a little yellow, and a little red again. Going on with the chin here. A lot of purple. And since a fist hit her lip, we need to create that wound. A red base. Dark purple. And yeah, the bloody scab, wet look blood. Or whatever product you might uh, find.
and there you go, you look like you got beat up. And in a few days we'll post the tutorial and add scars to this makeup. Don't miss it!